Hi fellow traders, I hope everybody had a good day today. Uh, it was a pretty decent start to the week, even though the morning didn't start out that great. Um, had a platform issue and you know had a little stop stop out here. We had um you know I was looking at MBRV, you know, this started moving early this morning. Um so I picked it up on my thinkorswim scan and you know I was kind of watching it and we were holding VWAP here and we got the pullback right at 8 o'clock and you know we were bouncing off the 9 so I wasn't excuse me I wasn't going to take it down here because I don't like you know buying into resistance so I waited until we got over this. You know, we opened over the VWAP. We started to sell off a little bit. But the price action looked pretty strong. You know, this looked, it felt bullish. So I took it long, was looking to retest the pre-market highs here. But when it got up here around 14, we just couldn't get over it. You know, we tried it here, tried it here, tried it here. But I stayed in this as long as I did because we were holding support. We were holding the VWAP, we were holding the 9, we were holding the 20. And, you know, they were trending up at the time. So right here is where we started really looking weak. And as soon as we got a little crack, I took it off. I mean, I was, my finger was on the button here just waiting. And I figured we were going to get a big sell candle like this, so I went ahead and was ready. When it cracked the the low here, I was out. So, you know, and it was a real tight stop. You know, no, not a big loss at all. Only lost a few dollars on this. Now this one, um, this is where the platform kind of got screwy. Um, on these stocks that are on SSR when I'm trying to short them if I'm anticipate or if I see this and I see a wash coming and I was looking for a wash at the open so what I did was once this candle dipped down and this candle opened and we started to, to get to buy to get bought up I put an order in at 12.85 to short so if we washed out I had a chance of that order getting hit you know it has to get hit on the uptick so as it's going down a lot of times you know the stock will go down tick up go down tick up go down tick up and I put it at 85 because I felt that would be a good place that I could catch an uptick and this candle was printing and then all of a sudden the order goes through and I'm like on this candle that's already passed and you know I don't even know how I did that it it, it shocked me um, but needless to say I'm sitting here on the phone with um, sure trader and you know trying to figure out what what is it is it DOS you know how did it do this and you know they really couldn't explain it um, but they took me out the position you know up here I did I mean I didn't do it they took me out and you know was trying to figure out what was going on with this thing but you know once they told me that I was straight and you know I got back in I went ahead and got short here because you know I was still looking for this to roll over this still had a weak feel and this candle here really proved it you know we couldn't hold over VWAP and that that's just another sign for me to go short so I waited until we dipped below this 20 here I got short and covered some a little bit early here because the stock got hung up right around here and 
I couldn't get it down to 12. So I ended up taking some off here and then once I took some off this thing started to wash down. So I took some more off at that target and so I had to wait until I got a move through 11 to take some more off. And you know I was holding another you know a little piece like maybe a quarter size left. And when we started to bounce here, we made a higher low here and we started to look like we were going to turn around. I went ahead and took the rest off and was going to reset, you know, get back in full size for the move back down. Well, I've been trading 300 shares all morning. Now I get ready to, to get in on this right here, this candle here, just under um, 1050, 1060. And I try to get in and the platform says I don't have enough buying power. Now, I know I've got enough. Now, I did make a mistake and wire out a little bit too much money Friday. You know, I was putting myself in trader rehab and I was going to start today with $1,500. And then, you know, at the end of the, the month here, just wire out whatever I made. Or if I have to add, if I lost, I would do that and still start the fourth quarter with 1500 But I'm starting Trader Rehab. It was kind of like a punishment for trading the way I've been trading. It's like, look, you got to start over. And that usually makes me focus a little bit more and wait for the setups and be a little bit more patient. Um, but in this case, they change the um they re reduce the margin on it to fit to you know three to one or fifty percent margin and I didn't know it and I logged out logged back in still tried to get in but got in with two hundred shares and yeah I chased it a bit but I looked at this and say okay I can use ten as my guide here if I lose ten I'll just take it off or when we get to the 200, I'll just go ahead and take it all off, which would probably be about the same amount, you know, had I scaled out like I was going to scale out. So that was the plan. And, you know, this dip down here, I didn't get a chance to put my order out here, but it dipped down and came back. And I thought, well, oh man, I just missed it. Because the idea would be to cover here and then get back short on another rejection. Because I'm, I'm just working this stock all the way down. And that's what I like to do. Once I get locked in and the stock looks like it's going to sell off all day, I'm just going to work it. You know, I'm going to sell the pops and I'm going to buy the dips. You know, and that's what I was doing. So... I was selling short on the on the retest and the pops and I was buying the cover on the dips. So here we did pull back a little bit and I did cover here. I left a I covered some here, I covered some here. So I did leave a little piece on right here. And I ended up adding to it but then got stopped out. I mean that but that was when I got thrown off the horse all right so the last thing if you haven't seen the video I put out yesterday about finishing the fourth quarter strong um, make sure you check it out if you know anybody that's trading that's looking at trading um, that may be struggling share it with them um, you know we're going to dedicate ourselves this fourth quarter we're going to rededicate ourselves and we're going to give it, you know, 120% and we're going to make it the best quarter of the year. Because if you if we finish the fourth quarter strong, then we can go into the first quarter, the beginning of the year with that momentum. And you know, trading is a momentum game and we need to keep that momentum going. So just 
you know, I invite you to, to come join us. We've had, you know, several people that commit to this, um, this fourth quarter. I don't really want to call it a challenge, but it, it can be considered a challenge. But we're going to make the fourth quarter the best quarter that we've ever had trading, you know, hands down. And the focus is going to be on education. The focus is going to be on developing discipline and learning when we need to trade and when we don't need to trade. It's just like today. I've gotten six, six emails so far that I've been able to read from the traders that send me their trades for me to look over from that day. And all six at 12 o'clock today were green. When I stopped trading, they were green. I was green. But they kept trading through lunch, after lunch, and, uh, and they ended up giving money back and then some. They ended up giving back what they made and then ended up losing, ended up red. And that's one of the key things that I try to teach. You know, when it's time, when it's time to stop trading, you need to stop. Once you lock in that money, I know you look at it, you might have looked at your P&L and may have had a couple hundred dollars and you was like, man, I want to make three. I want to make four. You know, the first, the, the opening trade that we made today, the opening range trade, you know, that just trading the 300 shares, we paid, we could have paid for the quarterly membership twice. And then the second, the second trade we made would have paid for it a third time. And this is just the first day, just one day, starting with a, a very small account. So if you focus on the right things, if you do the right things during the day, you're going to be fine. You develop that discipline. You know when it's time to trade, when it's not time to trade. You know when the stock um, goes the other way, when the momentum shifts. It's time to shut it down and, and take a break, walk away. And if nothing else presents itself, you sit on your hands. So just come join us. You can see everything that we do every day. Um, and like I said, the sooner you join, the more free days you get because your your subscription won't start until next month. But you will have access to the chat room starting the day you sign up. So the earlier you sign up, the more free days you get. All right. So if you have any questions. Or anything you want to ask me about it, just email me at at averagejoetrader.com and I will get right back with you. So you guys have a great evening, a great night, and we will see you first thing in the morning.